Welcome back to Learning Inkscape and this time I'm going to show you how to create a cylinder with an outline. Another question that I've received. We need the snapping enabled and later on this one active as well. I'll show you why. But let us first create this ellipse. And then I press Ctrl D and copy it and I drag the copy downwards holding Ctrl. Let me give the top one a different color and I put it to the top in the hierarchy. And now we need the Bezier tool and this I can active, so it's a snap for smooth notes, and now it snaps to the correct notes. And we can just hold Control, left click, and we've got this rect angle. Make sure that the top ellipse is on top, and you always want to give the bottom two elements, so this rect angle and the bottom ellipse, the same color. Just like this. And that's basically what you want. You can select it all, Ctrl G to group it. But if you want to give it a stroke, let me give it one. I hold Shift and click on a black color swatch. You can see that the rectangle also has this outline, and that's not what we want. So let me press Ctrl Z until it isn't grouped. So I've got the three elements individually. I select it all, hold Shift and click on the top ellipse. And then I go to path and union. So I only have these two elements now. And now if I select it all and give it a stroke, so I'll shift click on the black color swatch, the problem is solved. Let's go to object, fill in stroke, stroke style, and we'll increase the stroke width. And you can see that the rectangle doesn't have a stroke anymore. And this is how you can create a cylinder with an outline in Inkscape. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.